Hello, year eight, and welcome to this science lesson about the big topic where do we come from? And today is a lesson four. So let's start with the driving question for today. Remember to copy and underline the driving question in your exercise book so we can start the lesson. The driving question today is what makes us biologically male or female when we are born? And underneath the driving question, as usual, you will see the keywords that we are going to use today during this lesson, and you will be more familiar with. At by the end of this lesson okay so let's start this lesson with a quick recap of what we said last one so we said that in our body we have two different kinds of cells we have somatic cells and sex cells where the somatic cells are the cells with 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosome inside the nucleus of every cells instead the sex cells are the only kinds of cells in your body that will contain half the number of chromosomes because they will contain 23 chromosomes in the nucleus sorry and uh, this is important because they are released they are related with the um, sexual reproduction and we will see this in a minute so um today in fact we are going to focus a little bit more about these sex cells okay so we have two different kinds of sex cells in human beings so in a male we have sperm and it has a head where inside the head we have the nucleus that contain chromosomes and you have the middle space and the tail that will help the sperm to move forward the egg cell and this is how a sperm cell actually look like if you look at that uh, through a microscope instead this is how an egg cell looks like so you have a nucleus in the middle of course with the, with the 23 chromosomes inside then you have the jelly coat to protect the egg cell and as you can see from this picture an egg cell is so big that this is how small a sperm looks next to it so we have that the egg cell is much bigger than the sperm cell and this is how an egg cell look like when you look at that through uh, through a microscope this is the nucleus okay that will contain the 23 chromosomes and we said that both of them contain 23 chromosomes because they are involved in a process called fertilization that happens during sexual, sexual reproduction and during fertilization we have that these two cells will fuse together the nucleus will fuse together so by the end of the fertilization you will have a new cell a somatic cell because it will contain 46 chromosomes okay we can see that pattern in this scheme so you have 23 chromosomes from spare join with 23 chromosome from the hag and you will have a new somatic cell with 46 chromosome but once the fertilization will happen when the fertilization happen what will happen later so what is the next step after fertilization so what next step when you have is a new somatic cell with 46 chromosomes after fertilization so I, this is a little video that will explain that is a little bit about web fertilization and cell division so one sperm out of millions uh, fertilize an egg it means that is a nucleus will fuse with egg cell nucleus and this process so when the two nucleus fuse together is called fertilization so the eggs is fertilized and the new fertilized eggs will start dividing and dividing and dividing ending up with uh, an embryo okay so after fertilization after the two nucleus will fuse together you will have the first cell, somatic cell that will have 46 chromosomes so these cells will start dividing and the division uh, will um, will carry on until you will have the embryo. Okay, so the complex cell division and specialization specialization of cells results in an embryo. Okay, so this is the first task for you guys. So this is a question: What happens during fertilization? We have four options. So please pause the video, go through all of them, and pick one you need to tell me which one is the right answer so what will happen during fertilization okay so let's have a look to the right answer and the right answer is b so during fertilization a sperm cell and an egg cell join together to make a somatic cell with 46 chromosomes so now we were talking about sexual reproduction and fertilization 
in human being but this is not happening just in human being but it's happening also in plants in fact in plants we have the male part that we release the sex cell the male sex cell and the female part that we release the female sex cell to allow fertilization in particular you have that the male part is made of stamen and anther and actually anther is where the sex cell will produce will be produced and in a female part you have the stigma the carpal and ovary okay so in particular what you need to remember is that the anther is where in plant the male sex cell is released that in plant is called pollen instead ovary is where the female sex cells are released and in plants are still called um, uh, X. okay so you have that implant you have that the females uh, the the male sex cell is called pollen and the female sex cell instead is called eggs so how the fertilization happen uh, in plants so what you will need is that the pollen from an anther or one flower so this is the anther you will have that the pollen will be released by this anther and this pollen needs to get to the stigma that is the upper side of this organ inside the flower and to get to the stigma of a different flower okay so you have that the pollen that is the male sex cell in plant will get to the stigma of a different flower to reach the eggs and in this way the fertilization in plants can happen okay so true or false this is another task for you guys so i put these are false statements some of them are true some of them are false you need to post the video go through them and you need to tell me for each one which if it is true or if it is false We'll check that later. Okay, let's go through each one of them and let's see if it is a true or false. So, sexual reproduction happens only in animals. So, and actually, this is a false because we said that sexual reproduction, because we just observed that fertilization happens in plants as well. So, sexual reproduction happens in animals and plants. Then, second one, sperm is a male sex cell in animals and egg cell is a female sex cell in animals. This is true. Then, pollen and egg are the sex cell in plants. Great, it's true. And last one is what I said. Sex cells in human contain 46 chromosomes. This is false because sex cells in human contain just 23 chromosomes. Okay, now back to the what is well, back to the driving question for today, guys. What we are going to learn now? Now that we learn about better. Uh, um, we be we'll learn better about fertilization and sex cells. Now we are going to learn what makes diff what makes a male and a female biological different. Okay, so let's have a look at what are the biological di the main biological differences biological differences between a female and a man. So a female can get pregnant. A female has breasts for lactation, and the female Y has a white pelvis for childbirth instead what males can uh, have as a, a biological biological characteristic they cannot get pregnant they have facial, uh, facial hair they have low voice pitch compared to uh, uh, pelvis because they don't need Okay, so those are the main gen, um, biological dif biological difference between a female and a male. But why, uh, how this um, how is possible that a female and a male uh, are biologically different? So. Aside from cultural stereotype, lifestyle, choice of transition, there is one key difference between two biological gender because we have two biological gender. We have the female biological gender and the male biological gender. And the difference is due to our chromosomes. The key about the difference between the biological gender as a female or a male is due just about due to our chromosomes okay so we said that chromosomes is the way the dna is arranged in the nucleus of every cell and uh, 
uh, we said that every somatic cell contains 20 pairs of chromosomes or 46 chromosomes and the pairs that we need to focalize to better understand the difference between a female um, gender or biological gender or a male biological gender is the pair 23 because it's the one that can uh, say if a human being is a male or is a, uh, a female biologically talk uh, talking so male and female we said that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes so male and females they have 23 22 sorry pairs of chromosomes that they are identical between male and female we have these 22 pairs of chromosome identical the only one that is different as i said is the pair 23. this is because it's the only pair that can say if a human being is a biological female or a biological male in fact if you are a biological female you will have two chromosomes in the 23rd pair that is xx if you are a biological male you will have x and y as chromosomes okay so this is a picture how the x and y chromosomes look like if you look at them at the microscope and in this case we are looking at a human being with a, a biological gender as male okay instead this one is x and x chromosome so it means that um, this human being will have a biological gender of female okay and now is another task for you guys so which statement is a false so now it's just one is false so you just need to pick one that is a false so please pause the video and uh, we will check your answer in a minute okay let's go through the answer and <clears throat> the answer is sorry that c because i said that 20 pairs of chromosomes are identical in men and women instead the answer is that 22 pairs of chromosomes are identical in men and women because then we have the, the, the pair 23 is the one that will tell you which gender will be the human being okay so this is another picture that show you the 46 chromosome and we have 40, 46 chromosome where 23 are from the uh, mother or 23 are from the father and this is happening during fertilization so the, the, the two uh, group of chromosomes will join together during fertilization in fact during fertilization will happen so we have a female parent and a male parent they will both release um, a sex cells where each sex cell will contain just 23 chromosomes. So we have egg cell released by the female parent, sperm cell released by the male parent, both of them with 23 chromosomes. They will join together, they will, these two nucleus will fuse together during fertilization. And the first somatic cell that they will make is called zygote okay so this is the first somatic cell that you will have as a result of fertilization this somatic cell will start dividing until it will end up as an embryo okay with 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes okay if you look just the number you will see that all the somatic cells of parents are have 46 chromosomes this is the female this is the male parents both of them will release sex cells where each sex cell will have 23 chromosomes okay then these two nucleus will fuse together during fertilization and the zygote so the full somatic cell is called zygote will have 46 chromosomes instead okay and it will start the budding and it will end up as an uh, embryo okay now as a normal science lesson we have a writing phase so please uh, complete the four tasks so post the video to do the task take your time to do the task and we will check your answer actually in the next slide i prepared some starter sentence to help you to complete the task so please post the video take your time we will check that when you will ready okay now it's time to mark and uh, please get ready with a green pen or different color pen if you don't have a green pen and get ready also to add extra detail if you miss something during the task so for the first one name the male and female sex cell in human and plants so in human we have a sperm cell and egg cell in plants we have pollen and egg 
explaining what a gamete is and what a zygote is. So a gamete is a sex cell involved in fertilization and contains half the number of chromosomes. A zygote instead is the somatic cell made after fertilization. Then explain the difference in chromosomes between biological males and female. So in Talking about chromosomes, so 22 pairs of chromosomes are identical in men and women, the only pair that is different to set the biological gender is pair 23. In fact, if your biological gender is female, you will have XX. If your biological gender is male, you have XY. Okay? Then explain why sex cells need to contain after the usual number of chromosomes. Sex cells are the only kind of cell in our body to contain after the number of chromosomes. This is because they are involved in sexual reproduction and fertilization during which a female and a male sex cell will join together. Each sex cell contains 23 chromosomes. After fertilization, a new zygote is formed with 46 chromosomes. And we need to remember, if you haven't used the, the word zygote or the new somatic cell, is is K. Uh, because the zygote is a new somatic cell formed after fertilization that will start dividing to end up as a, um, an embryo, okay? So please post the video if you need to add it extra detail to your answer. And the very last thing is the plenary. So today I've achieved, you need to put the right word, depends on what you've done on your own and not in green pen, please. And because I could use this statement, please, to help yourself and complete the task to explain what you have achieved. And the very last thing that I need to remind you guys is please don't forget to do the 10 question quiz and show my own work linked with this lesson. So thanks for today. Well done and see you next one.